All right. I'm here with Ben Fitzpatrick and Matthew Moore, and this is a special edition in the Cup of Linux Spotlight. And uh, I am not doing a distro review here. Instead, I'm just going to discuss a Linux di distribution that has recently come out that has uh, received pretty much close to 500 downloads uh, since its release. So uh, Matthew Moore and Ben Fitzpatrick presents Hackman Linux. And Ben is the same guy who took over the Manjaro Cup of Linux edition. How you doing, Ben? Feeling fine and staying alive as always. How about you, Matthew? What's up? The sky. I'm doing all right. <laughs> Tell me, Matthew, why on earth do we need another Arch-based distribution? Now, I understand this used to be Arch by Matthew Moore. Tell me about that. Well, originally, uh, I wanted to do an Arch-based spin because I was having uh, some trouble with my Manjaro spin, the Manjaro by MM, and uh, I was running into issues, not, not specifically with the Manjaro itself, but the way that they have it configured in relation to how it gets along with my hardware. So I wanted to do a spin removing the middleman, basically going right to Arch, and I wasn't sure how to approach it, and that's where Ben came into the picture. Um, the original project was named Arch by MM, but after uh, having some conversations with uh, Aaron Griffin from the Arch uh, community, I was informed that naming it Arch by MM would uh, basically be a violation of their trademark policy. And since Ben put so much work into uh, putting the installer together for me, I decided that maybe he should be the one that gets to name it. And that's where the name Hackman Linux uh, came from. And uh, you you may not like what I'm about to say here, Matthew, but I you know I would have to agree with their stance on this because the thing is, um, you know, if you have Arch by Matthew Moore, you know, um, even though you're you're admitting you're the one that made it, it's still got the Arch name in there, and maybe they want to avoid potential problems with newbies in the community because they you know they do know that you do cater a lot to uh newcomers uh who are transitioning over and maybe they just you know that's why they have that um policy in place uh for their for their trademark so i, I can understand their reasoning behind that so why hackman ben well, that's actually a very good story. Um, on well, my well, just just a quick observation, though. I didn't notice any pen testing software on here. So, what kind of hacking are they going to do on this? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> it's okay. Um, well, the name is actually kind of unique. Um, where it comes from is. I am what most people would call an operating system nut. I dabble a lot with, um, well, Hackman in particular is a name that people give me when I do Hackintosh tutorials, which is what my channel is mostly about, other than Linux and Windows, but mostly Linux nowadays, but there's still some Hackintosh content out there, so, which I'm currently lacking, but that's basically where the name came from, is Hackman Linux, so it's kind of my nickname rolled into the distro throw gen 2 in there because i understand that you uh compiled gen 2 uh at least three or four times a, a week is that correct i've compiled gen 2 more than <laughs> most people would ever dream of <laughs> you haven't compiled gen 2 until you have compiled it the way that i did it <laughs> Oh, that was one of the most scariest videos you've ever done. I did that on a dare because Linux for you and me had uh, his uh, had his uh, <laughs> his shock video uh, when uh, he was trying to make fun of Nixie Pixel, and I was making fun of him making fun of Nixie Pixel. So <laughs> yeah, uh, we all know that Nixie Pixel is one of the most attractive Linux users on the planet. What well, is girl? Wait, you're, you're, you're telling me that that video on Caddy's channel wasn't actually Nixie Pixel? 
<laughs> anyway. Let me ask you guys, uh, we'll start with you, Matt. What makes this distro unique? Why does somebody want to download and use Hackman Linux? What makes this unique? Well, um, anyone familiar with Arch Linux knows that it's not the easiest thing to get installed especially if you're new to the platform. Uh, with this, we're kind of targeting uh, users that might want to get their feet wet, wet with Arch and may not have the skill to dive in head first. Uh, we selected uh, an incurses based installer, which has all of the, the technical options and features in it, but easy enough to understand that just about anyone with some reading comprehension can pick it up and install it without needing to know a whole lot about the technical aspects of how it works. So it, it, it's basically an out-of-the-box XFCE Arch experience that anybody could pick up and use and not have too much trouble with. And uh, I, kind of a way to get people interested in Arch, because uh, I, I know when I first became an Arch user, I transitioned from Manjaro. So uh, it, it just... It just seems like the right thing to do to make something easier, but in kind of the way that I saw it, uh, the way that I thought it should be done. So uh, that's pretty much uh, what makes this, uh, what separates this from actual Arch Linux. And it looks like for the package manager, you threw in uh, PAMIC. It's, it's, it doesn't have the polish that the Manjaro version has, but it makes it relatively easy for people to uh, search and install packages. So pretty much it looks like you have a build here that uh, people can use without ever having to open up a terminal. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, for the most part. Uh, we did include the Trizen AUR helper uh, that is available in the terminal for people that want it. Um, we didn't do any modifications to any uh, stock Arch packages. Basically, it's pretty much the way Arch is. Uh, if you were to install Arch and configure XFCE, uh, the same packages and the same configurations that you would have gotten there. We, we just basically did it for you. Um, the uh, configurations that are in place, mostly just themes and artwork and some backend stuff with the installer. We did include a third party repository that we can use to send updates down to the installer as things change. So uh, that way users shouldn't have any problems uh, uh, long term with this. At any rate, uh, for those of you who are interested, there is a very interesting uh, write up on the Arch Wiki where uh, you can get the official method for installing packages from the AUR where you download the uh, snapshot and then you use make package to build those package. It gives you the opportunity to have a look at those package builds maybe alter them and uh, build the packages that you can install a later time. Always good to have help the AUR helpers, but officially they're not supported. Okay, if we have a look here at the software selections, it looks like it's got pretty much everything that um, most people would need. So this would be a good distribution to start out with. Um, You've got uh, Steam, for those of you who want to get your game on. Um, a number of tools in the graphics area. I use some of these myself, a Blender, and uh, the GIMP is included in here. Uh, Pinta, that's your favorite, Matthew. So um, good that you threw that in there, and that one isn't too difficult to use either. Uh, Shotwell Simple Scan, and my favorite image viewer is Vunor. You've got that one included in there. It looks like we've got uh, Chromium. Uh, Deluge for BitTorrent, FileZilla, HexChat for um, chatting online. A few other little goodies thrown in uh, for those of you who want uh, an email client. Thunderbird is in here as well. Several multimedia tools. And it looks like you've got uh, a few packages that, um, like for instance, Cheese and GovCView both do the same thing. But you indicated something before earlier that one would work on one machine where on another machine it didn't work or something like that, I think? Yeah, I have some uh, unusual webcams. Uh, I have one older non-UVC compliant webcam, uh, and it works with Cheese and not with GUVC View. And then I have one that's specifically a UVC compliant webcam with no additional drivers, 
and it only works in GEVC view. So on all of my systems, you'll notice that, uh, if, you know, you watch my videos online, I always have both of those installed for that reason. Stuff, and looks like you got a handful of media players throw, thrown in. Personally, you're going to laugh. My webcam viewer is MPV, and I also use that for playing everything on my system. But I do have uh, Dead B for playing audio playlists. Other than that, those are the only things I have on my machine. But this, th these packages here give uh, people an air of familiarity. It looks like you've got uh, everything that they would need for uh, making spreadsheets and doing all their office. And then, of course, uh, the, the standard complement of settings that come with an XFCE desktop. Uh, this looks very nice. Um, if we're looking on the desktop here and we go into our desktop settings, a nice complement of wallpapers is included. So if Master Yoda uh, doesn't pique your fancy, you know, maybe uh, this lovely um cloud display is something a little bit better um so there's a nice selection of wallpapers thrown in here uh i like what i see here and uh, i can see why it's gotten as many downloads as it has um we're looking for a uh, maintainer for distro hunt so we can get submissions rolling on that so let me see if I can find some info, and we'll get this up on uh, the Distro Hunt page and see if we can reinvigorate that site. <laughs> because really, we haven't been getting uh, any submissions, but even then, um, that, that was at a time when uh, I had too much other stuff uh, going on, and I couldn't even, you know, I couldn't even post them. So we need to find somebody who wants to maintain the Distro Hunt page. Uh, if any of you uh, are, think you might be interested, you can contact me on the Cup of Linux forum, and uh, we can see about uh, getting uh, at least getting a few volunteers who can maintain the site. That would be wonderful. So at any rate, uh, I like what I'm seeing here. This looks pleasant. Uh, ben, do you have any uh, thoughts you want to mention? Um, just the thank you guys so much, so much for all the downloads. It's going to keep my interest going, keep me going on uh, maintaining this, because I do plan to maintain this as much as I can. I'm glad to uh, see so much interest in this, and uh, please give me your feedback on the SourceForge page here on Spatry's website, in the forum, and um, um, if you have any issues at all, um, Feel free to email me, message me on his website, whatever you want to do. Um, but I would rec I would honestly recommend his website because that way if someone else has that same problem, then they can all benefit from it. But yeah, um, I'm glad you guys are downloading this and uh, um, look forward to seeing your comments about it. Uh, so like I said, uh, keep those downloads coming and uh, also... One other thing I wanted to mention was I do plan to have a website up where I can take donations as well, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, as I stated, awesome stuff. Uh, the best way to use Arch, though, if you're, if you're entering the Linux world, is to actually uh, prepare an extra machine and uh, be prepared to go onto the Arch Wiki and follow the Beginner's Guide. I can't stress enough the rewarding experience that will follow if you follow the beginner's guide and build arch yourself the archway um, and learn how how the packaging system works by you know um, building packages from the AUR the archway you know um, I learned more over a weekend um, of just spending time in the arch wiki and the beginner's guides and that sort of thing I learned more in a weekend than I did in over 10 years on a computer so um, it's really a tremendous experience but this is a good uh, distribution to at least give somebody a taste of what they can experience with an arch based distribution so kudos to you both for putting this together and uh, I'll be sure to put a link in the description below so that people can download this and give it a try. And uh, thank you all of you for watching. Um, the next episode of uh, the Gub of Linux Spotlight, I'm going to be looking at uh, Solus. And I'm going to be looking at Mint Mate. Um, this is just an extra special edition we decided to throw in really quick. So, um, yeah and well worth your time.
for sure. Well, that's all I have for right now. Thank you all of you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Till then, peace out. Mm-hmm.